want to take you on a journey of looking at the ins and outs of the DJI Power 1000. We're going to go ahead and take a look at all the accessories that are available to it. Look at the solar panels also that you can also use with it or is included in maybe a bundle deal with it. But the more important things, we're also going to be testing this rear out. So I have a small fridge that we're also going to test it up to. We're also going to test it with a portable heater, which is very important during like the winter time or if you're out camping during the winter time. And we're also going to test the UPS system with it in case of a power outage for you. So let's go ahead and deep dive in right now and start with that unboxing. So it actually comes with only three items inside of the box. So we kind of already did the unboxing right here in front of you. You basically get the power station here with it. You get this power cord itself, which is actually a pretty good distance of a power cord. It might be around like five feet or so. Uh, and then you also get the, uh, the user manual. So those right there are the three things that you really get. But what else kind of accessories they can also get with it as well? Well, you can get this guy right here. So you can go ahead and use a, a DC output for you. So you can get one of these guys and it's going to be a, a power out for it. So you have that option. You can also charge this up using your uh, DC port in your car. So you can also get one of these cords as an option too. You can also get one of these. This here is also for um, solar panels or for the DC cord. Uh, a little quick tip, by the way, instead of buying one of these right here separately, if you get the DC cord, it already comes with one in the package as at least it did for me uh, with it. So that might save you a few bucks. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to check this here out, I do have a link down in the description down below with everything that I'm talking about, all these products, all these accessories and everything else. Uh, the other thing that you can also look at getting to as well is the DJI bag uh, for the Power 1000 with it. It's kind of nice. It has a nice handle with it and also has uh, some openings over here. So you have full access basically to everything and some cooling areas too as well to kind of keep the battery nice and cool. So maybe you don't even have to take it out of the bag. Uh, but yeah, you pretty much have full access to it because it even has a window here too. Uh, but yeah, pretty nice bag all together. So let's really kind of deep dive into the DJI Power 1000 now. Let's talk about more of the features about the DJI Power 1000. It has 1,024 watt hour capacity uh, built into it. It does have an LFP battery, which is fantastic. Uh, it does have two four, 140 watt uh, USB-C ports in the front side. Everything is built on the front side. There's nothing really in the sides or the back side except for fans. Uh, for you. You also have two USB A's that are two, uh, 24 watts of power and you also get two three prong AC ports on the side over here that you can also use. We'll talk about those two as well and we're, while we're testing this stuff right here out. But 2600 watts of power that you can go ahead and pull out but you can also uh, peak these all the way up to 4400 watts if you need to uh, with them. Of course you have to remember that you only have about 1000 24 watt hours built into here for the capacity. So just remember while you're using things like that and peeking it out, how much power you're going to have stored up in here uh, with it. You got one SDC port and one SDC light port for your inputs and outputs for you. And you also have a battery management system built in. Nice thing about the battery management system that DJI has, has an auto shut off in case it automatically detects that, you know, it's overheating, something that's going on with it. And then when it goes back, the power is regulated again and everything else, poor, the power normalizes, it's going to automatically turn back on for you uh, with it. So you don't have to go back and worry about a restart whatever it might be. So that's kind of a nice feature. Now it does have 11 temperature sensors built into it as well. So it's gonna go ahead and monitor all that heat and everything else going in here. So that way it's gonna give you that really effective charging while you're charging it up. By the way, there's actually two different settings for AC charging and you can decide if you want the 600 watt or the 1200 watt option. The 1200 watt option is actually gonna go ahead and charge this up from zero to about 100%, about 70 minutes or so. And just double that time if you're doing 600 watt Right now we're charging up 600 watts right now. It does have a power outage protection built into it. It does have 10 fuses that in case it does short circuit or have something going on with it, it's going to go ahead and protect the battery for you so that way you don't have to worry about it. Plus it also has a UPS system feature built in, which we'll also be testing out here very, very shortly uh, in the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. The other thing it also has is it has two quarter inch threaded holes on the side over here. So you can go ahead and install this someplace that you might need that or stand it up or whatever you want to do with those threaded holes. By the way, if you know what you would do with those threaded holes, let me know in the comments down below real quick, please. 
Thank you. I'm trying to get some ideas real quick. Let me know. Okay. It does also have a color display that gives you the status of the unit with it. it has two carrying handles, makes it nice and easy to go ahead and lift this here up with both hands, just like so. And then you also have a quiet charging. Actually, it's charging up right now. You don't even hear a peep. Three decibels is what they rated at. I can't even get my meter to go that low because even with my ambient noise in my room, we're still at 34. So I'm not even going to show those results because it is quiet. The fan's not running. Nothing's going on with it. Uh, there are three different ways to go ahead and charge up this unit with it. The nice thing is you can charge this up very quickly using your AC, so your line out of your home. You can use solar panels as well, or you can charge this up with your car. We'll go over all those right there here momentarily too. So let's, uh, let's actually talk about those now, about how quickly those charge up. We already talked about the AC, which you actually get the 600 watt or the 1200 watt. So there's actually a little button right here and you can actually slide either way to go ahead and change those watts, how much power is actually pulling into it which is really really cool so you can do the 600 or the 1200 the 1200 takes about 70 minutes uh, to go ahead and do that you can also do the car charge option so if you're driving around town or going on a road trip it takes about 14 hours to go from zero 100 using that option the other way is actually going to be a solar panel which is going to be a 100 watt solar panel for example which i'll show you guys here in a second and it takes about 11 hours to charge go ahead and use an 11 100 watt solar panel this right here is the 100 watt solar panel and uh, how we can go ahead and charge it up. Very easy to actually go ahead and install this too, but you do need that adapter to be able to go ahead and use a solar panel with this unit. I don't know for sure if it comes in, uh, but it, the package that I got, everything else came with everything that I just showed you, but I got like an, a bigger package uh, with this unit. Uh, but yeah, a really, really cool way to go ahead and set this here all up. I like the fact that it also has the cord built into the solar panel with it. I do have the links for the solar panels down below too uh, for you to go check out. Go ahead and have this right here. Great for camping, glamping, power on the go, power outages kind of thing uh, with it if you need something for that. Now let's go ahead and do some testing. We're going to go ahead and do a quick UPS test. And how this here all works is I have our line coming in from our outside. Uh, so I can easily go ahead and turn this on and off for power going in here right now we can kind of see that it's currently charging up ah it's not actually charging let's charge this up real quick now it's actually charging up uh we're doing 600 watts of input so i would zoom all the way up to 600 watts here you're going to see this line here is increasing we're at 87 right now right there we're at 608 or so i think we have a 600 yep we have 600 watts so 600 watts so I'm gonna go ahead and actually plug in one more item. I'm gonna plug in a bug zapper so we can kind of see the actual light. I like the bug zapper because it shows like a blue light. So we can see it, it actually flick over live on the video versus like, oh, here's a light or here's that. So um, yeah, so here's the bug zapper that we're gonna go ahead and use. We're gonna go ahead and plug this here directly in here. Now the UPS system is 0.02 seconds, it says, that's gonna be able to flip over for you. So you can use it for like Wi-Fi systems and things like that too. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll power this here on just like that. And you can do one AC outlet if you're using the UPS system option. So let's go ahead and turn on our bug zapper. <gasps> We're running. Awesome. So let's see if we have some kind of input and output. So we have our, we have our output right here, 18 watts of output, 640 watts of input. Now if this here hits 100%, it should probably match up right there for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a UPS uh system test now are you guys ready i'm gonna go ahead and turn off our power going into the dji and then we're gonna go ahead and notice that this is going to drop from 640 all the way down to zero and then the battery here should automatically kick on and then pay attention to light too as well to see if it flickers if it just turns off and it's done let's see what happens here we go so we're gonna go ahead and kill the power here real quick there we go that was like nothing did you guys see a flitch at all I saw like a little teeny tiny one, like it was super, super fast. So at 0 0.02 seconds, I, I believe that's probably correct with it. It was like very little of a power outage kind of situation with it. But right now we are still having an output of 19 Watts and zero coming in now. Now let's see, let's test this through here out because I didn't read anything about what happens when the power comes back on in here. I'm guessing that's still gonna go ahead and, and stay on. I don't know if there's gonna be like a major switch or anything else like that. So let's test it out, here we go. Let's see, nothing happened, it's still running. There was no, I didn't even notice a flitch or anything like that coming from the light. And sometimes I do. 
So that's really cool. So right now, I don't know, it's, it's like running off the battery, running off through the power, coming in through the wall outlet, and it's charging up at the same exact time for you. So yeah, I, I think this here is a really, really successful UPS test right here of the system. So the next thing I wanna do is going to be a small heater. So right here is our heater. It's like a, just a regular space heater uh, thing with it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and plug this one here into real quick. And we will be turning this right here heater on, which is nice because it is cold in my studio today. So we're gonna go ahead and this year will pull a lot of power, a lot of power. I will say that the mini fridge test that I did pulled around 50 watts. So we'll just go ahead and see what this year is gonna go ahead and pull. Uh, it should be hundreds of watts. Uh, Cause I know this year max power can probably go all the way up to 1500 watts. Some of them do. I think this year actually goes a lot lower than that, but let's go ahead and crank this here on. Let's take a look and see what we can do with it. So we're actually gonna go ahead and kill that. There we go. So now we're only using the battery now with this. So right now we're at 88% battery. And this is going to estimate it to be around 28 minutes. So about 28 minutes at 88 is going to be around this. So probably about a half an hour. And this is on full blast. 1500 watts so yeah it can run a space heater here 1500 watts i will say that's on high if we actually turn this here down to low we can still get some really really good heat coming out of this thing with it so in case like emergencies and things like that i wouldn't run it like on full heat but we're still pulling 800 900 watts of power now we're right around like 46 47 minutes of runtime it says so maybe close to about an hour maybe about an hour fully charged up, we'll be able to keep warm. So you can kind of use it on and off kind of thing, especially during emergencies and stuff like that. So that right there is the results of the space heater uh, with it. Let me know in the comments if you guys want even more uh, testing going on. So, okay, so that right there is the space heater. Let's go ahead and take a look at that fridge. Okay, so the fridge results is very, very interesting. It pulls around 50 to 60 watts of power uh, out of it. We ran the test for about two hours and it seems like that it's gonna be able to run a small fridge like that right there, like one that you'll probably put in like your garage or whatever it is, uh, or in a dorm room for between eight to 10 hours with it which that makes sense about how much capacity is built into uh the dji power 1000 so that wraps up this video here thank you guys so much for being here by the way check out this video here as well as we review more products right here on youtube and don't forget i have all the products down in the description down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here appreciate it see you guys on the next one